What is going on, guys? I am Jay the Black here. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about former Ohio State wide receiver and ex now ex NFL player Terrell Pryor. This is a guy who is very talented, but is a very bad decision maker when it comes to women. Now, when you look at his background and how he grew up, I'm not going to get into all that because y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all want to hear real red pill talk on these particular athletes. And that's what I'm going to do in this situation, because this is very sad. This is a guy who has so much potential, but his upbringing pretty much doomed him from the start. Now, Terrell Pryor got into a situation with his girlfriend where she stubbed him and I'm that's I'm going to substitute the word so just deal with it stubbed him twice to where he had to go to the emergency room and according to people uh around them this was a very toxic relationship that has been going on for about a year but this isn't the first time that Terrell's had issues with women he had a situation where last year he was dating uh, a female who got into it with his baby's mother because he is a father. And they got into it. And the situation, that situation seemed toxic, you know. And um, now he's with another female and it just the cycle continues to where this female is charged. He also was charged uh, for a, a simple, uh, I believe a, a simple assault. And... It's just a sad situation. He is 30 years old. This guy was a five-star recruit. The highest, he was pretty much, I believe, the highest ranked player coming out of high school, out of Jeanette, Pennsylvania. Okay? Number one player, high school football player in the country. I remember watching those recruiting shows. So much potential, so much talent. And... He has struggled to make it in the in the NFL after being kicked out of Ohio State in his senior year, and you know having to go on this, I believe the supplemental draft, and he just was never able to get on his feet ever since then. Just was never able to get his footing right. Tried quarterback, didn't work out. Went to wide receiver, had some success there, you know, um, but again just didn't work out a guy who's uber talented this guy ran a 4 3 40 yard dash talented now i want to speak about his upbringing you know he grew up in a household where his father abandoned the family so it was pretty much him and his siblings okay and his mother he talked about how his mother worked multiple jobs to take care of him and his brother. He, and he said that he he and his brother were, were it was a headache to his mother. So I'm pretty sure there was guilt there when he got older and he and he you know got to college and then then got to the NFL. He felt like he had to repay her, which is fine. But I think that he just was never able to mature in the right way when it came to women. And maybe because of who he grew up around. He probably was around a lot of women. Probably around a lot of aunts, or grandmother, mother, of course. And again, he was never able to get his footing in life. He, I believe, was um, his father figure was a, a local businessman. So he really didn't have a solid guy. I mean, I mean he had that, but I'm just saying a solid guy from his family. Uh, to really steer him in the right direction. You know, he had to be stirred in the right direction by coaches or by people in the community who saw the potential in him. And again, I want y'all to understand, he's 30 years old and his football career seems to be over. I mean, he was floundering from one team to the next and he's a free agent. He's a free agent. And we, what's very interesting is that one of the females, okay, that he dated last year, She's now dating an NFL player. So when she realized that Terrell, not uh, Terrell, uh, yeah, Terrell uh, Pryor, I was about to say Terrell Owens, <laughs> was not going to be who she thought he was. Her name is Shayna Ray. I'll probably have a picture up in this video. She and she now she's dating a, another football player from the Philadelphia Eagles. 
Do not trust these groupies. Do not wife these groupies. What's going on, man? I said this in a video about Von Miller, man. Why are you wifing groupies? Why? Why are you wifing chicks who've made their way through the through uh, through the industry, either be with rappers, now with athletes? I understand people change. Listen, I understand that. You know, people can change, but they have to show me that they're changing. When you hop into relationships quick because, you know, they have big assets, you know, they have a big asset. So you think because they have big asset that they're going to be an asset to you. That's not how it works. This situation with Terrell Pryor is was toxic. The reports from the police said that they engaged in mutual combat. The girlfriend claims that she came home. Terrell was waiting on her. Um, they got to uh, fighting and Terrell uh, was putting hands on her. And she felt like she had to defend herself by grabbing a knife and stubbing him twice in the chest. And I believe the shoulder and had to drive him to the hospital. I don't know if that account is 100 percent Terrell has not given a statement publicly uh not publicly but haven't given a statement that has been released publicly about his portion of it if it has um I'll look into it but I'm recording this maybe a two days after this situation happened because I want to make sure I had as many facts as possible this is not a news video I don't make news videos this is about speaking on a man who's my age, okay? We're born the same year, okay? And I look at him as a peer because, again, we we're born the same year, and I saw him grow. I saw him from being a high school senior, you know, high school All-American, to where he is now. That's crazy. His football career is pretty much over unless he goes to the XFL or he signs on to a team that needs a wide receiver. But I don't see that happening, man. It, I just don't. So because it's over, I think that he has not really adjusted to it well because he's going out, he's partying, he's dating a female that clearly – um seems to be you know frustrated that he is not giving her the lifestyle that she wants as a matter of fact i believe he's living in a uh, apartment complex you know she probably thought that she'd be living in a mansion driving you know nice cars you know i believe he, he has a nice car but maybe she thought that he would give her a better life and i think that does contribute to a toxic relationship when a woman expects more than what you've given her it's going to drive her to want to go harder at you, to test you, to punk you. And these situations occur. I'm not saying that I agree with what happened in this situation. Because I don't. I think that Terrell is a grown man. He makes his own decisions. And I think this was a situation that was very preventable. Now... This female name is Shalaya Briston. Okay. So she is her, her identity ain't hidden, but they were going to hide it. But because of the charges, they had to put her info out there, you know, now arresting a guy who was basically the victim in this situation just shows y'all how, you know, men can never be perceived as victims men always are going to be looked upon as men who should have known better and you know you're right you know terrell you know should should know better you have to be careful uh, you are a melanated man so therefore you have to be very careful by about how you conduct yourself you have to be very careful you have to be very conscientious of how people uh see and view you in this society now, again, there's probably going to be more details, but I'm speaking to Terrell because I like to speak on athletes, former athletes, guys who have had all the potential in the world, but they have not been able to adjust. Like Terrell, I don't think he's been able to adjust to the fact that he's unemployed, that the NFL is through with him, that his football career is over. 
And I think that, I mean, again, this football career probably could, could flourish. We don't know. He could still get signed by a team, and but he's 30. You know, teams are looking for younger and faster wide receivers who can catch. I think Terrell is still, at 30, I think he's still trying to learn how to be a wide receiver. But I think in this situation, I think that the female was wrong. I think she was absolutely wrong. You don't conduct yourself like that. You were mutually getting into it with this guy. What do you think was going to happen? Let's be real. What did she think was going to happen by putting her hands on a grown man? What do you think was going to happen? With a guy who clearly may have some emotional issues. Raised by a single mother. What do you think was going to happen? This lets me know that this particular female had no respect for Terrell. And listen, I'm not saying that he shouldn't be accountable. Absolutely. He should be very accountable for his decisions. Again, I talked about the previous relationship with the other females and how dysfunctional that was. But you have females out here who will show you any and every time they can that they have absolutely no respect for you whatsoever. And you can tell that she has absolutely no respect for you at the fact that she is mutually getting into it with you. No female should be mutually getting into anything with a guy. But if she don't respect you and she knows that you got a lot to lose, then she's willing to take it there because she ain't got nothing to lose. So now the situation is a lose-lose for you. Listen, man, all to all, a lot of these guys, man, these, these melanated athletes, you got to be careful of the type of women you give energy to because if you give the wrong one energy, they're going to try to take that energy and life force from you and they're going to sap you until there's nothing left until you're a shell of who you were and you have nothing left to offer the world. Terrell Prize, 30 years old, you still have a lot to offer, but it may not be in football anymore. And I think it's up to you to really figure out what that is. You know, being in the NFL ain't the end all be all. You can go back to I'm, I'm not sure if you if he's graduated. Yeah, if he has. I know y'all can tell him in the comments. Section. You know, this kind of reminds me of like the Johnny Manziel situation. Right. Johnny Manziel a couple of years ago was still trying to get to the NFL, still looking for an opportunity. He met an Instagram model and he married her. And what ended up happening is he went to the XFL. I mean, he went to no, he went to Canada. Right. Played there. Got kicked out of the Canadian Football League. They ended up in the AAF for like a game or two. And that didn't work out because the league folded. And now he's not playing any football. And he hopes to go in the XFL. But right after the AFL, AAF folded, the 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 uh, the wife ended up leaving him because apparently he was dealing with other females. I'm pretty sure he's been doing that the whole relationship. But because she saw potential that he could maybe get to the NFL, she decided to roll the dice. She ain't got nothing to lose. You know, she got more to gain and to lose. What ended up happening is that, you know, Johnny Manzo ended up losing and looking like a fool. Because I don't think this, this female really wanted to be married. I mean, look how she dressed on social media. And now she's out here going from athlete to athlete, trying to search for that one that's going to wife her up. And I don't think that's going to happen. But um, that it reminds me of that, man. That you cannot give energy to these females who are, who are clout-seeking or looking for a come-up. Because if it don't provide that then she's going to make it very difficult for you if you're trying to be in a relationship with them. I just want to say this. According to TMZ, Shalaya Briston is still in custody and her bail was denied. These are serious uh, charges. And if you look at her mugshot, you pretty much can see everything I pretty much said in this video. All right. Stay woke.